y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is part three of my deck makeover, which is the final part where I'm putting this deck back together and decorating. At this point, I've already removed everything off the deck, pressure washed it, and stained it. I have separate videos on the pressure washing part and staining part, and they're already both uploaded on my channel if you wanna check those out. I'll also link them down below in the description box for quick reference as well. And without further ado, let's get started getting this deck back together. For the furniture, I chose to do two farmhouse swings that my wonderful man built for me. This is something that I have always wanted, so I am so extremely excited to finally have these. Next up is to hang these and get these prepped for staining. Now that they are hung, I am going to sand them quickly, focusing on any rough areas. For the stain, I'm using the same exact stain and sealant that I use for the whole deck, which is Valspar Semi-Transparent Exterior Stain and Sealant in the color Bella Portabella. I'm using the same color mainly for two reasons, because I had plenty left over from doing the deck and I didn't have to buy any more, and also because I wanted all the wood colors to match and blend together nicely. Also, we had to add a few boards up to the top to help support the weight of the swing, so I'm going to quickly stain those as well. Before I finish the rest of the deck, I want to redo this little area in front of the steps. I'm going to remove these two little stepping stones and lay a few pavers down for a cleaner look. 
I am no expert when it comes to laying pavers and I'm not doing a whole patio here, just a few pavers. So I'm not really concerned that it's done perfectly and done by the book, but I am going to try my best to make it look better. I want all the hardware to match on this deck, including the chains on the swings. So I'm going to spray paint the chains black to match everything else. They would be too much of an eyesore to me if I left them like they were. So I'm going to do that. I could have purchased chain that was already black, but it was way cheaper to get plain galvanized chain instead. I'm going to take it one step further and add twine to these chains just to soften them up a little bit. I purchased this twine from Lowe's that I'm going to wrap the chain. I've seen a lot of farmhouse swings that are hung from that really thick twine. 
twine, not chain, which is the look I wanted to go with, but that twine is very expensive. So I wanted to go the chain route and wrap it with twine instead just to save a little bit of money. And even though it took a little while to do, I do love the way that they turned out. I also wanted to add a ceiling fan to our outdoor space. I wanted something a little less boring and more decorative, so I decided on this outdoor fan that I got from Lowe's, which turned out really nice. Now for the fun part, I'm going to add all the finishing pieces to pull this whole space together. Before I do a final show, I wanted to take one last look at what this deck looked like before I started the makeover. It was so dirty, unorganized, the furniture was outdated, and it was a catch-all space for all random things. And now here is the transformation. Wow, y'all, I cannot believe this is my deck now. So much effort was put into this space to give it the makeover it needed. Now it is clean and cozy and just beautiful, and I cannot wait to enjoy it. I hope y'all enjoy this deck makeover as much as I did and I was able to give you lots of motivation and inspiration to do something around your own home. I'll be doing a separate video on a back deck tour where I tell you where I got everything and how much everything costs. So stay tuned for that if you're interested in all the details. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.